I mean, if I go east a little bit from my... The hell was that noise? That was weird. <laughs> if I go a little bit east from my base, um, we could take a pickaxe over there too. Alright, we are back to some more green project here today. Give me one second while I reload my... No, you're not supposed to take it. You're supposed to put it back in there because we're trying to refill our wood supply to make some food, which something's coming up right now. What's coming up? Well, we've been moving up in the world from the last video to this one. I've done a little bit of stuff off camera here. I'll show you some what I've done. But we have a worm skewer. That's right. We're no longer just eating nothing but mushroom soup. We moved up in the world now apparently could feast on worms. Our boy, our, ja our Jason Statham here with hair is growing up and moving up in the world. Let's see. Let me show you what I got here. I got plenty of like um, veggies here that we're going to be using to make some more food. We have a ton of edible mushrooms. We come over here. Got some coffee beans now coming in as well. But more importantly, what I want to talk about is that I mentioned we need a backpack to make our carrying a lot easier. I thought it'd be very hard because I need like a ton of cotton. But you guys in the comments, let me know. Falcon, number one, cotton, very simple to get. Here's how. Let me show you this, um, this problem that I've been having here with the old backpack, right? So my problem was, well, we need like 99 rope to make one, right? Which is a lot. But you could not, you get 99 rope if you get 10 cotton. How much cotton did I have? I had like around six that we found scurrying about. Now I'm down to, I think, no cotton. But that is because we have 53 cotton seeds. If you put that cotton into your seed makers over here, you actually get cotton seeds. So you could actually grow your own cotton as opposed to just waiting around for the trees in your little garden to give you cotton randomly. So we have cotton growing randomly over here. I didn't have any more like soil to like make a nice little area for it. So I put cotton here, 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 and I think there's also some here and here or whatever, but we'll get some from that, right? Over here, we're growing some corn. And then over here, or is it tomatoes? It's one or the other. This is either tomatoes and that's corn, or this is corn and that's tomatoes. It's one or the other, right? And you guys were right too about needing more water. I made more water collectors because, man, just this little small plot of land that we've had here, I went through everything through here and quite a bit through here. So I made two more. I'm even considering making a ton more. But we'll worry about that when the next rain comes around. So I, I need to get more water. We're going to be doing two explorations here today. Number one, get that pickaxe, which you guys told me exact. Well, I mean... I wasn't really told exactly where the co the the cotton the pickaxe was. I just read a comment saying he's gonna hate himself when he realizes how close he was to the pickaxe last video. So I wasn't exactly told where, but I have an idea that if I go back to where I was, we'll probably look around a bit more and be able to see it. And if we get that pickaxe, we have two options, or actually, really one option: go north to that little bunker that we saw that was caved in, break down that rock, and explore that area. I've also been told there's actually another really cool area in the southwest part of the map. So, this is where we came last time and I found all that good stuff. I got really excited and I hurried off. This is where apparently I'm imagining the pickaxe should be. And then after this, we have the other option to go and break in that cave or go south. And people told me there's some really cool stuff south as well. So, we'll figure out which one we want to go. So, we were down here. The question is, where the hell would this pickaxe be? I mean, would they really put it inside of a desk? I really don't see that happening, right? I mean, I really don't want to go through every single desk right now. It's really annoying. Yeah, this is going to be for... <laughs> what? It was right there. Excuse me? What about not the pickaxe? It could be useful to bring this machine back home. What machine? This, this machine? I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm excited about this. I was, dude, I was close then. I, I think we made, I made it up to here, right? When, I, yeah, because this is where, it's, it was completely filled up with, like, metal grids, and I got excited, and I left. Dude, had I just gone down a little bit lower, we would have seen it. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. The comment was right. <laughs> He's gonna hate himself when he realizes how close he was. Yeah, he was, uh, he was mighty close. Yeah, he was mighty close, all right. That's fine. You know what? It gave me at least a destination for us to go to. So this right here I could bring back home is what you're telling me? Okay, well... Ooh, I'm glad I checked. Recipe for the ore extractor. Ore extractor instructions. Ooh. So you're, you're an ore extractor? Is that what you're supposed to be? 
So if I could take this back home, you know what? I need the pliers. Of course I'd bring the pliers with me, because when the hell do you actually ever need the pliers until, like, now? Man, I don't have the pliers. So I'd have to go back home, pick the pliers, come back and pick it up. Right, so at least I know where it's at. That's fine. It's not going to interrupt our adventure for today. Recipe ore extractor. Let's learn this. Well, it gave me the recipe to make this machine. So do I have to bring it with me? Or can I just make it home? Well, you know, I'll worry about it later. If I, have to, if I can make it home, I'll make it. If I have to come back with pliers, I'll do that. Instructions. Let's read this. User instructions. Put the rock containing the desired ore. Then wait for the extraction. Examples. Iron gives you ferret. Clay soil gives you clay. Huh. Okay. So this is going to be... Oops. Zoom in. Zoom, no, no, no. Zoom in. This is going to be an ore extractor, huh? Okay. Well, I haven't really seen... Iron ore? Nor have I seen... Ooh, get some more stuff over here. I haven't seen, like, any recipe thus far that it's required iron ore. I guess it's something we could check out later. Those rocks, I don't really need them right now. I'll probably dump them off. I'm just looting like crazy. For now, since we do have this pickaxe, how about we go and investigate, um... Post-apocalyptic Bruce Wayne's, uh, cave here, which, if I'm right, it should be just by following this path. I was also told, as I mentioned, if I go south from that area, there's another cool area for us to check out, but... We can do that later. Oh, man. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll leave all the stuff that we picked up outside. At least we know exactly where it's at, right? It's not going anywhere. I'd rather be coming in here empty-handed so that we can pick up whatever we want. Whatever is in there, we bring it out, we put it outside, and then we take all the good stuff. Let's put on our little light over here. Can you please stop zooming all the way out? And uh, mushrooms? I mean, not right now. I'm. I, we have plenty of mushrooms back home, plus we could pick them up on the way out. Let's equip our pickaxe, and let's go on this little adventure here. Caved in dungeon. Bunker. Whatever the hell it might be. I guess it might be an underground bunker, considering the way it looks. They even had a little ventilation thing out front. Can you please, uh, bring this down? That'd be great if you could. These are all just rocks, correct? Or stones, whatever. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, well, here's the problem, stone. Right now, you're not really too important. Stones are, like, literally everywhere. I mean, if I go east a little bit from my... The hell was that noise? That was weird. <laughs> if I go a little bit east from my base, um, we could take a pickaxe over there to... You, you guys hear that, right? I mean, this game is, like, you know, devoid of sounds other than just, like, ambient sound effects every now and then. Stop doing it now. Okay, I'm maybe I'm tripping out. So, yeah, it's just the sound of me pickaxing, yeah. But when I was walking, there's, like, this weird, like, crunchy sound. What are you guys... More stone? Oh, I guess this is kind of like an unlimited supply for stone if you need some. For future projects, huh? Let's continue going down this way. It's supposed to be a maze, too, so yeah, now we're seeing a bunch of other paths here, huh? Well, let's break through here. When we came in the first time, or at least last video anyway, it did mention something about, like, or at least um, our boy here mentioned something about a compass, so... I really hope it's... not easy to get lost, because... Stupid sound effect. Be kind of terrifying otherwise. Can you... See this? We cannot pick through. Okay. So what is iron ore, then? Ooh, that's clay right there, isn't it, boys? That's gotta be clay. Ooh, red mushrooms. Okay, I haven't seen those before. Now, I'm a little bit worried because now we've traveled a little bit and I... I, <laughs> I kind of forgot how I got here. I think we went straight left, right? See, now this I kind of want to load up on because I have not. Ooh, there it is. Clay soil. I'm trying to remember if there's any recipe that comes to mind that required clay. I want to say no. But definitely the last thing I'm going to do is the entirety of this video is stand here and, like, mine clay. Let me grab at least five, though, just for the road. And then if I need them for a recipe eventually, I know exactly where clay's going to be at. So that's just a little loop. There was a path to go down, though, right? Yeah, but we'd have to break through here. That's perfectly fine. Oh, the other thing I just realized, too. We cannot... Refine our pickaxe on- ooh. Oh, you're probably iron ore! We can refine our pickaxe on the go, so... Yo, that's kind of annoying, huh? If I come here, like, I gotta come here like, with, like, you know, with the intention of, like, mining either clay, iron ore, or something, because... Once the pickaxe is no longer able to pick anymore, I have to go back home and refine it anyway. Ooh.
Okay. Well, at least I don't need that right now, so that's fine. Although that's actually good for making our sharpening stones anyway, so that's kind of good. I also fear that I've... I'm already lost. Like, I have no idea how to get back at this point. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea how to get back. I mean, I guess like, if I find a clay soil on the way back, it'll give me an idea. See, this is a dead end over here. This is what I was worried about. Now we're... Dead end. But did you see that momentarily? Is that just a graphical glitch? I thought there was like light coming out through here. No? Yeah. Alright, so we reached a complete dead end. Two of them. Led to nothing whatsoever. Just to see if it leads me to somewhere else. Now please leave me to s oh you to a dead end. Nice troll developer. Hey, well, we put a rock over here, the player will think that you could go through there, but then, ha 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 ha, jokes on him, there's nothing there whatsoever. Good job. Very good job. You bastard. Oh, good, another dead end. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting very salty now. This has been the, the, the bunker of troll, really. You want to come here and mine something, you can mine plenty of salt. But that, that's exactly what I'm feeling right now, nothing but salt right now at the moment. Okay. Now, is there a way to get to those tents, though? There has to be. At this point, I want to get into those tents. So, if we use a little- yeah, this is good. We haven't seen this before. If we use a little bit of deductive knowledge, we know where it's at, so as long as we follow a path towards the area- Oh, no. Please tell me I have enough to break you through. Yes, thank you. Okay. I think we're kind of like above it, right? At this point where the tents were at? Path over there. You know what? This probably leads to the other side of that dead. Yeah! Yeah, we were- we came over there and we got stuck over there, so you know what? The tent should be to the left. There we go. Alright. Ooh, mushroom. Yeah. The Sapporo mushrooms. I don't really recall right off the top of my head what type of, uh... Well, what recipe we need these red mushrooms for, but... I know I've seen it. I've seen it for something. Based on their name, I don't think they're edibles either, too, so there's that. Anything in this tent. Hmm, nothing at all. What about you? Body? Ooh. The Detoxinator 1000. That sounds intriguing. Alright. Detoxinator, I, I more than likely is based on the name, I have to imagine it's, um, probably a stronger variety of the time tea that we can make to lower our radiation. So, that's actually good. Well... I think we've kind of gone through the entire cave system. Unless, no, well, no, no, there was probably a northern path that we missed, or at least that I skipped almost towards the start and decided to go... We went east, right? Two hours later. So, I think this is where we decided to go east earlier. And if we go a little bit west and south, we should get to the exit. This is something we skipped out on. Okay, perfect. I've been roaming these areas here for a while, trying to figure out how to get out. I think I figured it out, though. I guess we'll take all this here. So, in reality, these... This bunker? This mine, we'll call it, I guess? In reality, it's really if you just want to come and get, like, an unlimited amount of, um... Stone. And whatever we need clay for eventually. And I guess the Toxinator was actually kind of good, too, but other than that... Unless I'm missing a path somewhere. That's about it. But I'm pretty sure that if I'm missing something important here, people will let me know in the comments anyway, so it's fine. Not a big deal. This should hopefully lead us to... The exit, right? Right? Yes! Ho ho ho! Alright, so I went back home and I left all the extra stuff that we had. I sharpened my tools and everything my scythe and my pickaxe were about to break, so now they're nice and sharp. I grabbed these pliers just in case. Just in case I can indeed take this back with me, so let's find out. Oh, boys, I think it works! Yeah! <laughs> now, here's the thing, I'm excited this worked because... Um, the What the hell is this? You guys seeing this? Why is there a random square popping up here? Okay, that's... Kind Can I remove the toilets too, or what? Stop, stop doing that, it's freaking me out. Anyway, I'm excited because... Now I'm just seeing squares randomly and I'm, I'm tripping out. Um, I'm excited because the ore extractor, when I went back home and I dump all the extra stuff off and sharpen my tools, um, there was a recipe for it, but it required a ton of iron bars. 
and I have only have two iron bars, and to make iron bars, you need to get iron, and I haven't found one piece of regular iron in the 14 days, 1954 hours of in-game time I played in this game, so maybe I'm supposed to find a specific, maybe once we go south, there's something down there you could mine for iron, I'm not sure, but so far I haven't found iron just yet, so being able to take this back home is gonna be great, because I don't have to make it myself now. So, uh, I'm gonna travel back, and I guess that's about it. We explored all the mine area, we know there's worse clay now, we have a pickaxe, we have an ore extractor, so I'm gonna go back home, feed myself, do a little bit of farming around the house, and then next time around we could probably go and inspect the south side of the map, southwest, which people told me there's a lot of cool stuff down there too, so, if there's anything that I missed in the mine area, let me know about it, I'll come back and like, you know, retrace my steps and pick it up, but so far, pretty good. I think that was a very good expedition for us, and I'm glad we found that pickaxe, because now it opens up a lot of things for us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.